something what the transport is completely destroyed see it won't work from this end we should have known better Deneen was too smart for us we should have stayed out of this someone had to try and stop him but why us at least he can't do any more harm we know that one minute the scientists could be wrong the galaxy might not blow up exactly when they said it would. Well, I'm frightened. I don't want to die. At least not here. Maybe it'll happen very quickly. Maybe we won't feel anything. Estimated time to explosion is 40 seconds. about an explosion? Trialveron is going to disintegrate in 10 seconds. 10 seconds? Will the transporter work that fast? estimate accurately. Listen. What is it? Oh no, the build-up to the explosion. Oh no! The sun must be pulling us out of orbit. Oh, 
Explosions and we didn't think we were in time. It was luck. The explosion didn't happen when it was supposed to. Well, you say that's the important thing. Where's Chris? Thing. He should be here by now. Hurry. Hurry. <laughs> to you. I'm not sure. I remember the wall. It was cracking. And then this explosion. It was so weird. I didn't see it or anything. I guess I blocked out then. He must have been transported the same time that the galaxy blew up. Sam, what are you doing here? business trip was changed. I didn't know until yesterday that we'd be coming to Herbertville this soon. You'd better go to a doctor, Chris. Yeah, You're in bad I'm shape. okay now. Sure. Doesn't matter. Anyone that's lost consciousness, even for a few seconds, should be checked by a doctor. How do you like that? Just because she saves our lives, she figures she can start bossing us around again. <laughs> Samantha is correct. An examination is necessary for a possible concussion. Come on, Chris. We'll all go with you. You can tell me the whole story on the way. You guys go ahead. I'll stay here. Why? I know Dunedin's been destroyed, but I still won't feel safe until the transport is disconnected. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye. did get the better of us. But if Sam hadn't arrived when she did, or if the galaxy had exploded exactly on time, we'd all be dead right now. Agreed. Synonyms for appalling are dreadful, awful, terrifying. It was. Every time I close my eyes, I still see that clock reaching zero. I'll see you both tomorrow. We'll be in early because we have to plan the special holiday edition. Good night. It will be satisfying to see the four of them together again. What's the matter, Feta? Your discussion is completely out of control. Restore some semblance of order. Restore what kind of order? Semblance. It's from the Latin, and it means appearance or likeness. Oh, I see. Instead of behaving like idiots, we should at least try to look like reporters. I guess we got carried away a little. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start again. Chris, as editor, it's your job to run the meeting. Okay. I'll give each person a chance to suggest stories. Feta can keep a list, then we'll see if anything's missing. We're glad Thank to you. approve, Otto. Mm. <laughs> Alex, you can start. Well, the main story has to be the evacuation of Charles Ron and how Dunedin was destroyed. Do we all agree on that? Yeah. Good. And we can also do another story on the way Emperor Triton speaks. You mean in trite phrases? Yeah. Good idea. Alex, you're in charge of these two stories. How about you, Lynn? I think Sam should write a story about coming back to Herbertville. How it feels to see her friends and be here again. I like that. Everything seems so familiar. 
almost as if I'd never left. But at the same time, it's different, strange somehow. My other idea is to print the whole crossword puzzle. I know, but it doesn't matter. It'll give our readers a head start. Okay, who's next? Are you going to print the parodies of famous poems that my class did? Oh, I forgot. They were great. It's easy. We'll just highlight key stories from this year's issues. Yeah. And I'll write an editorial wishing all of our readers a happy holiday season. That should be enough. Yeah, it should. Well, I still think we need something else. For what? Here. What's that? A surprise. I was going to wait until Christmas Day, but maybe you should open it now. Go on, open it. I like surprises. But I don't see what this has to do with the story for the... Sam, this book, it's got your name on it. It's about moving away from your friends, just like I had to do. But when did you write... It was Rita's idea. We planned it just before I left, and we started writing letters to each other. Listen, this book is dedicated to Lynn, Chris, Alex, Otto, and Theta. To my friends for being my friends. Oh. oh, Sam, that's beautiful. That's it then. We'll advertise Sam's book in the Chronicle. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, Alex? Finding a bit about me, of course. We changed the name. You're called Roger. Roger? <laughs> Uh, let me see here. Hey, here we are. I didn't want to like Roger. After I left, he would be taking my place on the newspaper. Jealously, I tried to belittle him at every opportunity. I remember. You sure picked on me for a while. Yes, and I hardly knew you then. Now that we know him better, we know he deserves it. <laughs> How would you like to be crowned with a brand new literary creation? No thanks, but I get treated first. No, you right. don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Mystery to be solved, an adventure is unfolding, so why not get? 